It is a rainy Wednesday morning here in Orlando, Florida. But we've got a puppy to cheer on, so let's get this day started. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm just waiting for this car to pull out and this car to pull out. And they're not, though. They're, they're gonna not. So just run the engine. Yeah, they, they may just drive off as, as we're starting this. So it's Wednesday morning. Uh, we came up here to Orlando yesterday to go to Universal Studios with John Paul and Michelle. We started a vlog, but then decided, you know what, we really want to just focus on this precious time with our older children yeah it was really really neat but we had a good time we had a fun time just hanging out in universal studios but really the real motivation for this trip was jenny our grand puppy has a dock diving competition today and so we're really all here for that so yeah we're gonna go on over there now first thing we're gonna do is go inside because we got free breakfast I've got a little bit of a sore throat because somebody made me keep the AC at 60 degrees. And my nose That's is, what I'm going to blame it on. I was feeling great last night, and then my nose is a little bit stuffy because I think we just slept really hard. Yeah. I do not even remember falling asleep. <laughs> it was like live stream and then totally conk out. Now, after we do that, since we don't have our daily advent calendar gifts with us, Depending on the time, I actually want to run back over to Universal Studios. We're going to see how the time goes. See how the day goes. Because there was something that I wanted to get for you. Aww. And I didn't get a chance to get it. But we're going to go get breakfast. We're going to make this a two-day vlog. So we'll show, talk a little bit about stuff when we go home. We have the 12 days of keto tonight. And I have no idea what we're going to eat for lunch and dinner. Let's take a look what they got here. They have some pork sausages and turkey sausages. And then some cheese omelets and scrambled eggs and i'm not quite sure what those things are going to be made of we also have some hard-boiled eggs okay so this is breakfast we've got some hard-boiled eggs i'm going to try a pork sausage i'm sure there's probably some wonky ingredients in it but I'll probably eat that and then i've got some coffee with two pats of butter and I have a hard boiled egg, a couple of sausages, and I'm gonna have some cream cheese. So the sausage isn't that great, and uh, the eggs I'm suspect of, so I'm just gonna eat a whole pot of cream cheese. Cream cheese is awesome. So when all else fails, porking good, pork rinds. Mmm. Mm hmm. I may be hiding this flavor from Rachel. Jenny! Jenny! What are you doing? What are you doing? Jenny! Look at you. Look at you. You got a whole back seat here. Okay, John Paul is awesome. He is introducing me to something that is great. What? What are you shaking your head for? I'm just shaking my head because I cannot believe that you are super excited oh, about this. Oh, I thought this. I was doing something wrong. So he is introducing me to something for like the RV trips or when Anthony and I are work. It's called Brief Relief. Oh, Lord. And the urinal bags that turn it into like a gel so you don't have to use a cup anymore. This is awesome. Merry I'm excited Christmas. For this. I'm getting a case of these for Anthony. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, let's just be clear. You are not coming home with another dog. <laughs> no promises. Look at all these beautiful dogs. I think every single dog breed is represented today. You're not coming home with a dog. Okay, so when we go home, I want to watch Best in Show. Me too. I totally want to watch Best in Have you ever Best watched the movie show. Best in Show? It is I mean, so I hilarious. know it's a comedy that makes fun of this entire industry, but it's still a funny it movie. It is so cute. And these dogs, it's, it's exactly like that as far as the, the heightened level of grooming. Like there's yeah. so many dogs here that are just gorgeous. Yeah.
know this sounds bad, but it's hard to be wowed by a dog after you see him jump 27 feet. Right, we should just be impressed that like they catch the toy no matter what, but yeah, after you've seen one jump the length of a football field, it's like everybody else is no competition. I love this dog that's jumping, this German Shepherd, because it is athletic like I am athletic, right? It's like it's supposed to jump and it's just like, oop! So it's almost time for Jenny to jump and I am so excited. Each dog seems to have a different motivator. Some of the dogs just like running and jumping and almost don't even need the toy that they throw and other dogs want to catch the toy in midair and, and land in the pool. So it really depends on what motivates the dog in order to like, you know, how far you should throw the toy. So the, we did find out the reason John Paul wanted uh, like chicken breast, smoked chicken breast is because Jenny has a favorite toy and what he does is he rubs the whole toy. Oh my gosh. This dog just Great jumped day. like 25 feet. 21 feet 3 inches. Wow. So yeah, so what John Paul does is he rubs the chicken all over her favorite toy and then she just goes nuts and wants to go get it. So Jenny is actually a Gordon Setter, which are not really diving dogs, but her father was a diving dog. So that's why, you know, they're doing this. But you know who would make a really good diving dog if we would work with her? Tabitha. Is Tabitha, because Tabitha is a retriever, and those are really good diving dogs. Maybe we should do that with her. We should. Take her out in the backyard and just let her start diving into the pool now that Anthony's made it so that she never wants to get she out of the pool. the pool. This is gonna be tight getting home for the live stream. Don't worry, we're gonna make it because we definitely wanna see Ginny dive. She's diving at 1.30. It takes three hours to get home, so as so long as we're out of here by two, we'll be home by five o'clock. We're gonna cook, we're gonna flip into the parking space. That's right. The Duke's a hazard it. Now the only thing is, in order to watch Ginny dive and get home for the six o'clock live stream, we're gonna have to forego food. You can't, it's so. That's okay. It's, it's food or watch Ginny dive. I have Joe's bag of uh, sour cream and onion pork and good in the car with me. And so, yeah, so I'll be fine. You actually don't. Because remember when I went out to the car a little while ago? Yeah. Yeah, I ate those. Jenny gets in there eight feet, six inches. Nine, three. Pretty consistent distance. Jenny loves this. She is happy. Just springs out that time, nine feet, nine inches. Oh, good job, Jenny. If she can learn to get the running jump instead of run, stop, and jump, she's gonna jump like 20 feet. She is. She just needs to get that running start, and that's just gonna come with like practice. It's gotta be hard though, jumping every time in a different pool that you've never been to before. Surrounded by dogs and a lot of people watching that you've never met before. That was so much fun. I feel like we got a sneak peek at an entire world that we had no idea existed until today. And it's interesting because there is like a really big range of people here. There's people who like their entire life is these dog shows. Yes. And I think these dogs are just being bred for showing and they're not even like really pets. And then there's other people that we met that are like, these are my pets and they just like doing it. So doing I'm going to do it. Like enjoy. we met this one lady with a great Dane and she was like, Listen, Great Danes, they're not dock divers. Right, but mine is. But mine likes to do it. So I take her out here and like, I'm not trying to win a medal. I just want her to enjoy herself. Yeah. So we were driving home about an hour away from the house and we get a phone call from Anthony that there was a brickling in the middle of the road that he didn't see because there was another car that ran over it but and didn't. cleared it and didn't yeah. hit it. He hit it, got two flat tires. So we're like, okay. Thank God he's okay. Like, I do not care about... On the Florida Turnpike, yeah. Inconvenience it does not matter. Two flat tires, yes. that can usually mean an accident. Yes. So we're, we say, we're, we're going to come 
We, we should be there right before the tow truck. We get there. The tow truck company cancels on him. We call another one. Cancel. 40 minutes later, they cancel. We call another one. Cancel. They cancel. So we had to move our live stream from 6 o'clock to 8.30. We finally got someone to come pick it up. And Geico said that they will reimburse it. But now Anthony and Caleb, or Anthony and Rachel, rather, are in a disagreement. We're in a debate. Over Arby's. Have you ever had Arby's? Because Anthony says no. Arby's is good. Arby's is fire. No, no one has had Arby's. That they were shocked to get the order. And Rachel says Arby's is horrible. So let us know down in the comment section. What's your opinion on Arby's? I want to go back to bed. <laughs> is this like the best cup of coffee ever in your life? It's like a lifesaver cup of coffee right now. It's just a strong cup of coffee. So we got coffee, half a <laughs> tablespoon of butter for each of us a whole egg for each of us and a half a scoop of caramel macchiato keto chow cut between the two of us so this coffee there's a lot going on in here and it's really good right now there's a party going on in this cup of coffee and we have reason to celebrate today i am like super dressed up because we're go or i'm going sorry the best part of our only whole day. one ticket Michelle is graduating from college. I want pictures. I know. I need pictures. Joe gets to go to lunch, but there was only one ticket for, for someone to attend the ceremony. So I unapologetically swiped it. <laughs> it was like there was not an option. We did not put it to a vote. Mama's going. Yeah, I, I, I know I'll cheer up. So sorry for the, the downer, Joe. But it it's just been a long week. Yesterday was a really long day. I mean, shed on you. We we got up at six a.m. We went to the dog show. I had a lot of fun. We were looking last night online as we were kind of falling asleep and found out that was the AKC Nationals. Yeah. So it was it was wow. Like your first AKC event you go to, and it turns out to be the Nationals. So you know, we I had so much fun. I definitely would love to go to some more of those. Just Me just too. to kind of see some of the dogs and watch the way. You know, when you see from like it's like behind the scenes of what brings you to Westminster. Yeah. And like we do enjoy watching Westminster dog show. Well, so I it think was fun. It's like dogs. We're big fans. We're big fans of animals in yeah. general, oh, so... We have a zoo in our yeah, house. Yeah, so it's really nice to kind of see each breed showcased at their best. High five. We did not come home with a new dog, because we were talking about it. But like, we, we went in there and said, we're not coming home with a dog. Not that we could afford any of the dogs that were at that show no. anyway, but we didn't come home with a new dog. But I, I actually feel... Almost sorry for Tabitha because we came home and we're like, okay, we're interviewing you in karate and you're going to be doing some baking classes and then it's going to be ballet because like all of these dogs are doing stuff and it's like, okay. And Tabitha's just sitting there like on the couch like, you know what? I think I'm fine. Tabitha was looking as like, listen, Labradors are good for two things, retrieving and laying on the couch. Yeah, I'm I've holding. I've handled the laying on the couch yeah. and I'm good with that. She right? holds the couch down. So amazingly. What we need to do is we need to get Coach Bronson to come here and speak into Tabitha. Fitness and say, is freedom. Fitness <laughs> is freedom, Tabitha. She's like, like <laughs> I'm an indoor dog, right? It's so funny. Um, and we've talked about this before, but even when she was a puppy, in order to take her for a really long walk, we would have to drive to the end point of our destination and tell her we're going to walk home do you want to go home she always just wanted to go home right so yeah yesterday was a long day we had you know the, the dog show and then a three-hour drive home to be concluded with sitting with anthony on the roadside which i will take sitting with anthony on the roadside waiting yeah. for a tow truck over Every sitting time. with anthony in a hospital exactly as the result of an accident so i will take that um it just changed things up a little bit Today is a long day because we have the graduation, then we have lunch, and that's to celebrate Michelle's graduation. You get to go to that. And I'm excited about that because we're going to Tucker Dukes, which has always been like our go-to fast food kind of burger place. I'm really right? thankful. I know that they chose that because they knew we could eat something there. And yeah. I really appreciate that. It's mm -hmm. like, it's her day. And she's like, I think Tucker Dukes. Yeah. And I'm like, you're, you're just awesome. Now the plan today was actually to vlog and make 
a pot roast using one of our chuck roasts and I was gonna do an instant pot because I came up with a really good recipe for pot roast for keto. Uh, but I think that like Chuck or Dukes I know is going to fill me up because yeah. I know their burgers fill me up. I'm already having coffee here. So um, I think we said it already, but yeah, there's a lot going on in this coffee. Yeah. So uh, I'm thinking let's let's put the snooze button on the pot roast. We'll do pot roast tomorrow. And then, you know, we'll go out to lunch. And if we're a little hungry later on today, you know, we can do a keto chow creamy or yeah. something like that. Last and night, I didn't even get to dinner. I yeah. just fell asleep. I, I just knew, go to bed, Rachel. You need to. I threw one of those uh, Sam's Club bacon cheddar burgers into the air fryer. I didn't even turn on the Blackstone. <laughs> Had one of those with a pickle. And I was good. But also, like, my electrolytes are super low. So today's going to be an electrolytes day because... We didn't have any electrolytes at all yesterday because they didn't have anything to drink at the no. at the dog show. Well, they did, but it was seven dollars for a sixteen ounce bottle of water. At no. one point, I'm like, I'm a little hungry. Oh, look, they have Nathan's hot dogs over there. A hot Eight dollars and eighty nine cents for, for a, a hot dog. And hot don't dog. forget, we're throwing out the bun. So yeah. that, that was an absolute no as well. Yeah. So yeah, today's gonna be catch up on the electrolytes. But before we end this vlog, we, we got, got mail. mail. Anthony was gracious enough to go to the mailbox while we were gone, and he picked up our mail from you guys. I'm so excited. I open this up. So this one, it looks like, is from Kathleen. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. Oh, as How we open cute. this up, I don't know where my bag is, but I did want to let everybody know that Keto Chow... Wait, you got to read this. Well, oh, okay. It says, thank, thank you. you. Have a blessed season with love from Kate. Awesome. So Keto Chow um, did finally get in their egg white protein powder, so I will leave a link down below. If you use that link, you will get 10% off. I'm really, really excited about that. Oh, it's an ornament. Oh, yes. I am so excited. We're going to put this on the tree during the yes. live tonight. We still have four more days of 12 days of keto. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, this is the best part. You gave you gave Joe uh, a, actually an extra present. Anthony and Joe love bubble wrap. Love it. Satisfying. Almost as satisfying as pulling the plastic protective cover that's off of favorite. an Apple product. Yeah, but that's 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 few and far between. Oh wait, I'm gonna let you open it. I'm gonna... Thank you for there prepping you it for me. Look at this beautiful box. Oh, look at this! It's an avocado. Oh, that's oh, cool. oh Kathy, thank you so much. It says, the avocado. Oh, it doesn't pop. Legend has it that the first avocado was eaten by a Mayan princess in Mexico around 300 BC. It is also known as the alligator pear. I did not know that. Did you know nope. that? Which describes the fruit's texture and pear shape. You're right. On the outside, it I would just... It looks like a pear. It would, no, on the outside, I would say that the skin is like an alligator skin. Right? Right. The, the outside of an avocado is very strange. Texture inside, yeah, it, it's the texture of a pear for about one hour. Right. <laughs> this beautiful glass ornament was carefully crafted for you to enjoy as a holiday decoration. Thank you so much, Kathy. I cannot wait to put this on the tree. They even painted the pit. That's really like, pretty. Like, beautiful. I really, really like that. I love that. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, we got a note. Yay! This is from... Auntie Callie. Keto Auntie Callie. Dear Joe and Rachel, you guys have inspired me so much with your constant generosity. My newest food fave is pickles. Nice. I wanted to send you a pickle all the way from Ohio, so oh. I'm sending you one for your trade. Thank also you. Also in this package is something for Fear Factor. Uh -huh. Oh. You're hoping it's a pickle, right? And it doesn't look like a pickle. What is it? I was going to say, oh, use the scissors. There's a label over it. It says... Chap Chapulines. Grasshoppers. Oh, it's grasshoppers. Thanks, Callie. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at that. When's it, the next family fear factor? It is an entire bag of grasshoppers. Wow. Just in case anyone was wondering, 
There's four total carbs in in um a grasshopper. There's three, too many carbs to eat. There's three servings. The only thing is, it's all fiber. Four grams of dietary fiber. So this is a true zero net carb treat. So thank you. This is very cool. The Christmas pickle ornament. What? Is the ornament inside of this? Yes. Wow. Look at the, how they... Isn't that a cool way to store it? That's cool. It's like a baby food jar. Out. No, it says in well, old... This is, this is heavy like a real pickle. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. It says, in world in old world Germany, the last decoration placed on the tree was always a pickle, carefully hidden deep in the burrows. Wow, Very that cool. is neat. And the decoration that it comes in is like beautiful. I have to tell you, I kind of... I think you could just put the whole thing I on the tree. I want to put the whole jar on the tree. Yeah. I want that. Make sure it's on tight. You got to put it, just push it in. Well, we have a really good fake tray. I want to put that on that the tree. That is really stinking cool. Or you can break it apart and have two ornaments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except for we have so many really cool ornaments from subscribers. That, that is so neat. Next year, we Thank might have to so have much. two trees. Thank you, Callie. You got a card. I love cards. I love Christmas cards. Dear Joe and Rachel, thank you so much for the outfits for Leo. Oh. He will be looking so cute. Oh, Haley, this, Zach, and Leo. That's so nice. So this is actually uh, a baby shower. Thank you. But Heather and Phil gift are grandparents, and this is from their from their kids. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is such a cool card. This is a really cool. Hold on one second. Let me just read this. It says, thank you for the gift that I will soon see. My mom says it's so amazing, and you picked it just for me. Mom is giving you this card of thanks because I have yet to arrive. Even when I do, I won't write well till i'm five that is awesome that is so love me mom and dad that is cute look at this beautiful card oh this is nice this reminds me what what's that guy that's like the painter of light it is it's thomas kincaid <laughs> i love that thank you so much and it's like they it's 3d i really like that, that. is really cute so it says from Stan and Katie, hope you and those you love have the kind of holiday you'll remember as one of your warmest and happiest. Praying the blessings of peace and joy over you and yours. Matthew 1, 21. That is gorgeous. That is really Thanks pretty. so much, Katie and Stan. Uh, I like, see. look at that. It actually stands up. I like that. That is cool. We got another card. Love it. This is from Tanya. Tanya. Hope your family has a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2022. Thanks so much, Tanya. So Tanya put a little note in here. I just want to say thank you. I started my low carb journey March of 2020 and all of a sudden the pandemic hit. I started watching YouTube videos to learn more about keto and what to eat. Restaurants started closing down, so I started cooking all the time. Now I enjoy it. I work at a large snack Cake, yeah, cake company. Wow. So we follow strict protocols to stay safe, six feet apart at all times, mask all times except for when eating. Break room, we sit alone. Basically, Aww. I go all day without social interactions. On my break, I put on my earbuds in and I watch your videos while I eat my hard-boiled eggs with bacon with Redmond's Real Yay. Salt. Your videos get me through my day. Some some days you have me laughing, some days you have me tearing up, which is bad when I gotta sorta go back to work, <laughs> but I love them all. You both inspire me so much. I still have a ways to go, but with your guidance, advice, support, I can break this stall I'm in. I started out at 231 pounds, and now I'm 187. Hey, Tanya! It's a process, and I learn something new every day. I'm so grateful I found your channel. Tanya, thank you so much. For this beautiful note, this is so precious to us. Up, and also, look at this adorable doggy. Speaking of dogs, we love. Those I'm a big eyes. fan. Oh, look at more dogs. I know they're so cute. Look at that. Oh, there's two. There's two little faces. Thank you, Tanya. Oh, I dropped the note card. Uh oh. I dropped it. Wait, because I need to see who this is from. Where did you get? It? Oh, it's just a gift receipt. All right. But it doesn't say... No name who it's from? Who it's from. Who sent this? Let's see if I can read it. Oh, wait. wait. A gift for you. Oh. From no, Heather, and Heather and Phil. That is so I love cute. cutting boards. It's from but Iowa. I can't, I can't cut on that. you got to say... Well, you could go on this side. Go on this side. Because this is it. too beautiful. Thanks so much, Heather and Phil. 
This we is got beautiful. One more. I love that. I really like that, but I'm not I was gonna say, on that. I was trying to look and see where where were we at. I feel like we went through Davenport. I remember there. And look at there. There's Des Moines right there in the middle. That's, That's so beautiful. Cool. Really Thank like you that. so much, Heather. Last one. And Phil. I said Heather, but I know Heather picked it out. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I wish I could figure out where my Grandpa Joe letter opener is. I know. Is. It's packed away somewhere. Oh! Packing peanuts. Without getting, getting them everywhere. The place. Oh, we got a note. Nice. We got a note. I wanted to send this last year for you, Tree. I ordered a bunch of them for friends and family, but the artist I ordered them from had surgery, and I oh. got them too late. I love the philosophy of... Kintsugi. Kintsu okay. I hope you find it meaningful as well. Merry Christmas. Merry Joe. Merry Joe. Be easy. Ooh, these are the big circles oh, of bubble wrap. Yeah. These ones really make a snap. Priorities. Can I just say that your mail gets him more excited to open things than actual Christmas? I'm enjoying this just because Joe is actually opening presents and enjoying the process. Ready? I got them all. Oh, look, there's not one. Oh, wait, there's one left. I think that's it. Are you, are you Thank done? Thank you for tolerating okay, me. Okay, no problem. Let me read what's on the outside. This ornament is made in the Kintsugi style. This year, more than ever, it seems that we need to find whatever beauty we can in brokenness. Wow, I love that right from the get-go. Our own, our friends, our family, our world. Kintsugi, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, is the Japanese art of putting broken pottery pieces back together with gold, built on the idea that in embracing flaws and imperfections, you can create an even stronger, more beautiful piece of art. Every break is unique, and instead of repairing an item like new, the 400-year-old technique actually highlights the scars as a part of the design. Using this as a metaphor for healing ourselves teaches us an important lesson. Sometimes in the process of repairing things that have been broken, we actually create something more unique, beautiful, and resilient. Wow. Merry Christmas. And they have an Ernest Hemingway quote that says, the world breaks everyone and afterward many are strong at the broken places. I'm open it. Wow. Is that a beautiful thought? I'm like going to be sobbing. Save that case. Mary Jo, thank you. Save that. Yeah, I definitely want to save this. I, I'm actually going to cut this out and post no, this. No, no, I want to leave that and wrap this around. Well, I want to post this. I'm going to type it up. We'll scan it. Yeah. I want this around in my home. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. Wow. That wow. That is really, really pretty. That is beautiful. Mary Jo, thank you. Goodness, do you know our heart? That absolutely punched me in all the feels. That is really, really precious. Now you gotta go reapply your makeup for the I know. graduation. <laughs> Why bother? You should just go without makeup. Why bother, right? right? That is really, really beautiful. Thank you guys. You guys have really blessed our, our Christmas season. We really love sharing each day of the holidays with you and you guys don't need to get us presents, but boy, we really cherish the opportunity to think about you every day of the year. So say, thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to end the vlog here. Like I said, we're not going to vlog today because there's just, first of all, too much going on. We will uh, take some pictures of our food. And we'll stick them in here and we can talk about it on the next vlog, which yep. I guess will be on Friday. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.